So Lorraine Warren put that? Yeah. What is it with this room right here? Hey, what is up fam? Welcome to another adventure with your boy Omar. Today I am in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. It's a place that I have been to before. In fact, I had an accident happen here a couple years back that I thought was gonna affect me for the rest of my life. Thank God I'm okay. But I nearly was paralyzed. Whoa, you all right, dude? Whoa. Bro, are you all right? Well, we're in Jen's apartment right now. And if you know anything about Gettysburg and some of the old structures that are here, they used to be used as field hospitals for the war. Now, I'm unsure what this house was originally used for, but more than likely it was used as one of those field hospitals because there is a plaque on the very front of it showing that this was a Civil War house. It's a nice place though. It's so and it is haunted. Cute and cozy. Just a second ago, we were just off camera. It was really cool. So uh, Jen, she was doing a spirit box with this really cool spirit box. I guess they use on Ghost Adventures. While she's doing this spirit box, something makes a tapping noise behind us in this bathroom. And I mean, this spirit box was very intelligent too. Like it, it said how many fingers Tiffany was holding up. It said my name. What else did it and say? It said behind you. It said behind, said behind you, you well, after we heard tap. that sound. Yeah. I mean, it's a very quick, like, you know, nothing crazy. Just like, you know, hey, let's turn on the spirit box and see what's up. But anyways, we're going to go somewhere really cool where a haunted mirror exists. I'm going to explain some of that story here in a second. Let's do this. This place is so cool. This is this is Jen's little apartment in here. Tiffany's taking some, some photos. <laughs> you know, I'm always taking photos. And look how there's some Civil War pictures. Look at that. Nice. I wonder what was in here. Like, I could see myself living in a place like this. It's so cute. Like, I love it here. It doesn't give you a spooky vibe either. No. No spooky vibe. Is there a third floor? There is, but I my key fits in the door, but I can't get in there. So I don't know. If huh. You can take a walk. Walk up. Whoa. So check it out right there. It says Civil War building. I believe the Civil War ended in 1867. I could be wrong. Oh no, help me out. You know more than I do. I, th I thought it was 1867 or 1868. You'd think I'd know this for loving history so much. I like just being at the history. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Gettysburg. It looks like it's a busy city, but it's it's really not. Outside of this, it's it's all hills. and It's a really small city. All right, fam getting ready to go down here this is where the portal to hell is according to Lorraine Warren and others in fact there is a cross that's down here that Lorraine Warren herself oh my god it's scary it's so down dark. here oh this is oh, oh my gosh this is the cross Lorraine Warren asked for paint and Lorraine Warren came and we got her paint and she put this on the door so Lorraine Warren put that? Yeah. What is it with this room right here? She believes that in there, it's just a, a portal to hell. It's the older section of the house, and she believed that there was something negative in there. This pew here, a lot of people have experiences when they sit down on it, especially right there. When I used to do the ghost tours down here with Nikki, anytime I would sit here, I'd feel like some, I was being like touched or People get their hair played with. The third bench on the right was the one where I told you the story about the kids um, during their, they had- They like, were sitting on it? Yeah, they were sitting on it and it started to shake like back and forth like this. And then back here, a lot of times people have experiences in that far left corner where they feel like that there's like someone standing on the stairs over there. This cellar, people have experiences all the time. And the mirror that I was speaking of, it's right over here. They say when you take photos in it, um, you have like different images come up. And I can show you one of the images that was caught in this mirror. That's pretty scary. Hold your light. Yeah, I want to take a picture in it. What's up with this whole funeral setup? 
Oh, it used to be, it's called the Morning Theater. They used, they come down here and they have a haunted cellar tour that they do. Um, and they tell stories. What's that? I think it's just the pipes. Oh, okay. So our friend Nikki, who also works here, was just upstairs telling us a story of this. Well, it was a man telling her a story how somebody was trying to get their money back <laughs> because they were so scared and would not come down here. And I, she was saying, Nikki was saying that there's some people that won't even cross the street because of, I don't know, I guess some of the stories that they've heard. This is the image that was caught in that mirror. Oh my God. And that wasn't a person? No, there wasn't a person in the audience that night that looked like that. Oh but my God. Ironically, we did a ghost tour down here and I showed this picture to the crowd and a lady said, oh my God, that looks like me. And she took down her hair and sure enough, it looked just like her. What? Yeah, it was crazy. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. But a lot of people have captured things in the mirrors down here. We always tell people to take lots of photos down in the basement because you never know what you're going to catch. Hey, Jen, you should sit in this pew right here. What, this one? Yeah, have the, have the, yeah. Tell the hairdresser goes to go to town. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Can you start playing with Jen's hair? I would offer my hair, but I don't have much. Go ahead, babe. Sit down. Sit why? No, because okay. like people who sit here tend to have experiences. I'm sorry. Here, actually, you sit there because they might, they're more familiar with me than they are with you. Yeah, house. Jen's no fun anymore. <laughs> you're old meat to the ghosts. Yeah, yeah. You're Here, we'll bait. take. I'll take a selfie. See Yo, anything behind. I just heard it, like a knock behind that door. I don't know if you heard it. Well, when James was down here, I believe that doorknob started to turn on its own, what? and it freaked him out. Yeah, that's why he ran out of here the first time. <laughs> so yeah, James supposedly was down here and got freaked out so much. <gasps> was that just the paper? I think it was just. The can you knock back? Ooh. Is that pipes? I don't know. Could be. You know your pipes better than we do. If you're in here, can you make a noise? My light is not the best, but I'm doing my best down here. I just wanted to show you. I got another light too. I just blasted my aperture, so it's a little bit brighter on my camera now. So is this an old stairway? Yeah, that goes up into our dining room. It's the back way. Whoa. There's a lot of people feel like they hear someone coming down these steps or someone's like standing on those steps. Mm -hmm. And the same with these mirrors, they have experience. People that sit in this back pew too have experiences mm. quite frequently. So why is this set up like a church? Because they do, I, I found a light switch. Um, oh, cool. They, they do a, a presentation that used to be like the morning theater and they do like a whole like ghost tour seated presentation every week oh they do it once a week well it was once a week but uh or twice a week but now we put it on every night at seven for halloween we added okay. extra tours am i the only one that's really curious what's behind this door right here oh. you're down here can you talk to they even have a, a curtain like covering this door Is there anyone down here from the Civil War? It's a guy. It's a, it's a guy, it said. I check. I check. Are you Union or Confederate? Would you like a cigarette or a cigar? I'm going to sit back here. How many of you down here? Oh, it's scary down here. Can you make one of these benches shake like you did that day for the school? Was it that actual bench right there you're sitting on? Yeah. A touch stick in his hair.
people that sit right here have experiences. Can you tell me your name? Walter, are you down here? If you're down here, if you're down here, can you say Walter? Now the pew that Jen is sitting in right now, she was telling me a story how there was some kids sitting in that pew and it started moving violently and they all started crying. They left here crying, right? Yeah. The, the kids. kids. The kids? Yeah. Yeah, they were crying and like, and no one could console them. The one girl, she was like inconsolable. And um, it was just like traumatic for them. And we had people upstairs having uh, dinner. You know, there's a whole group of kids that are all screaming. Wow. Was it during one of these, like, events that they do down yeah, here? Yeah, you know how, like, they bring the bus in and, like, they take, you know, like, they do a tour. And... <laughs> I wonder if that school ever wants to do a field trip here again. It was, like, I don't know if it was 7th or 8th graders. Like, they were scared. Okay, so they, were, they weren't little kids. No, they were, but they were. But they were still crying. Scared. I guess I'd kind of cry, too. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that happened. Well, when you're not expecting it, you know? Yeah. Catches you off guard. Let me know if you see anything in these mirrors. This place is popular for actually seeing Does this give you a good down here, though? Like it's... Absolutely. For me, it, a lot of times it feels peaceful. I, didn't, I don't feel creepy. I feel creepy. Really? Yeah. I think it's just because there's like, I mean, like what's around you. You, you know, know that. to me, the creepy feeling is, is really not in here. It's that door. What's behind that door? It's just the, um, it's just the older part of the cellar, like where some of the boilers are and stuff. Can you go in there? Or is I'm it not locked? allowed. No, I'm not allowed. I, I even haven't been in there. You've never been in there? No. Yeah, but. I can't, like, that's so cool that Lorraine Warren did that. That is really cool. Can you move that doorknob? If you're wondering what that rattling sound is, it's some of these pipes. Is there something really evil behind this door? Hey, you. That sounded like it was from you. Well, That's why I looked at you. I looked at you because it sounded like it was from you. It was like, oh. I thought it was from outside or something. No. It okay, so like you thought it was over here. I thought it was over there. He thought it was outside. Yeah. yeah. Would you sit? Because we do have a ghost cat down here. That's what it out. sounded like. It was like a cat. Like a... Yeah. Wait, it's a ghost cat? Yeah, it's a ghost cat. Like, people will feel, in the inn, when you stay in the inn, sometimes they'll feel the presence of a cat jump on the bed, but also down here, people will feel the cat kind of, like, go by their Well, we've feet. been attracting cats lately, so... Like, a lot. Yeah, everywhere we're even going. Yeah. What if the cat is what plays with your hair? Well, I would have to feel it jump up. Old. There's also the little boy that got hit in, um, in front of the Farnsworth. It was a horse accident. The horse, I guess, like kicked back and and knocked him out and this is back during the civil war times what was that oh it's just leaves oh my god <laughs> um and so he was knocked out and then he ended up they bring they brought him up to the sarah black room or what is the sarah black room now he died up there and the father has been heard pacing like when i stayed in that room i had the door shut and the floorboards actually moved like as if someone was walking behind me it was wow. crazy this is a cool place. Thanks for sharing it with us, Jen. No problem. No problem. Anytime. So if you, you, see if you, if you guys want to visit Jen here, please do so. Make sure to mention my name and Nikki. Yeah, come down to the Farnsworth House Inn at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. You can spend the night here, too. Yeah, right? it's a bed and breakfast. You get a full breakfast in the morning, all homemade. And, and maybe yeah. a full ghost, too. Yeah, and <laughs> all of our rooms are haunted. Trust me on that. I just wanted to add this. As long as Jen has worked here, she has never been behind that creepy door. And for good reason. It's one thing that they say is you do not want to open evil doors. And I mean, 
this is a literal evil door. So I think it should probably stayed nailed shut. Civil War Museum. from a sharpshooter? Yeah. Well, like, they were shooting That's before, weird. but she was baking bread out of, they shot her out of that window over there. And, um, she was baking bread. Oh, is that the actual... That's the window. That she was shot but that out. hole, up, up top the window, is that the shot that came through? Um, I th it's one of the many bullet holes that's on the side of this house. Oh, there's a lot of Yeah, I'll take you around to the side so you can see. Oh, so cool. Is this like where the sharpshooter like lived and like set up? Yeah, through that window. Yeah. Wait, no, she was shot through that window. Yeah. yeah. Well, from this window. From so like they were they were in there shooting. She was down the street. Yeah, at her sister's house. In here it used to be a bedroom. Now we use it for tours. And people who sit in this left or the corner over here tend to have experiences a lot. These are Civil War artifacts. Were these found on the property or nearby? Uh, I have no idea. I think it's just stuff that they've gotten through the years. I think there's projectiles down there. My, um, the owner is a big collector of antiques and stuff. Oh, okay. What would you say was the craziest report from up here? Um, we had a girl that was touched. She was in like a skirt and uh, she was sitting in this back pew and she was touched and like she literally vaulted over over the pews because she couldn't believe like she you know it was scary when somebody touches you up here like you just it freaks a lot of people out we've gotten some really cool EVPs up here we've gotten some really cool spirit box responses we our equipment goes off a lot the markings on here. They're like all in, like Roman numerals. Do you see these? Cool. Can you make this light up to red, please? Let me see if I can put those buttons. Can you walk near it? Touch the black box. A lot of times, too, when they run pods sitting over there, like they go off as well. But we've gotten some cool stuff up here. You can try the spirit box in here, too. Walter, uh, are you up here? 
Wait, who's Walter? Walter is this a Confederate soldier. He's kind of, uh, he doesn't like women very much, and he's kind of like a, they, they say he's like sort of like a part, the, I guess the word is persnickety. That's, I think that's one of the words they use to describe him, but he's basically like a grouchy ghost. I feel he like a lot of Confederate soldiers are kind of grouchy. And, uh, towards women. Yeah, he, he doesn't really like women. And um, a lot of women that are, were guides have had things happen to them when when he's around. Like, they, you know, they he he likes to scare women to the point where and make them feel uncomfortable to the point where they want to leave. Like, just like the girl that was sitting here. Yeah, to leave. yeah. Like, hmm. um, he frequents he frequently is up here. Sounds like a bully. <laughs> hey, Walter, are you here with us? Why don't you like women? Awesome. Oh, that just light up, lit up a little bit over there. Oh, it did. Is there a little boy up here? You know my friend Rob. And you call him daddy sometimes. Are you up here? Would you like someone to bring you a toy? I said toy. Look, that's moving a little bit when you I said that. I did say toy. Would you, what color toy would you like? What kind of toy would you like? That kind of sounds like it's a car. Would you like a car? Toy car? Look. Every time you tell me you look yeah, at my baby. See? <laughs> okay, this is doing something. If you'd like a car, make that light up to orange. Right here. Right here where? We don't see anything. Help us see something. Can you touch that little black box with the green button? Need time. Did he know that he shot like somebody when he was? I don't think so. Like, what was he aiming for? I have no idea because, um, I mean, it was like right in the middle of the battle, or right, you know what I mean. And I'm right. sure he was probably just trying to take out some soldiers, but... I see. It just went through, oh, look. through oh, the door. Look at it. It's starting to go off when we were talking about that. If you're sorry, can you light that up? If you're not sorry, can you light that up? <gasps> it's not sorry. I'm telling you, it's responding I know, I know. to yes or no questions. No is not doing anything. Yes is it's doing something. Are you Confederate? If you're Confederate, can you light that up? Kind of good up. Do you wear a gray coat or a blue coat? No, do you wear a blue coat? Yes or no? So we locked up. The door here. Everybody's downstairs. Jen left the key, so I gotta grab them. So I'm gonna go ahead. And... Oh. Alright. All right. Just in case something popped off. I was uh you know, having you here as a witness. Cool place. Big shout out to my friends Jen and Nikki for letting us come here and sharing the place. There's a lot of really cool stuff here from what Jen told me. The owner loves collecting Civil War memorabilia, artifacts. There's all kinds. 
Oh, is that a buggy or a casket? Probably just a buggy. General Grant? Or President Grant? I, don't know. I believe that guy's on a $50 bill. This place is awesome. Look at it. What's over here? I do got the keys. This hallway is so beautiful. Beautiful and creepy. Yeah. Did you find them? No. They weren't up there. They weren't up there? Uh uh. Then where would they be? They're not in the door. Okay. They're right here behind <laughs> your ear. Look behind at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Right. I guess these are bullet holes from the Civil War. Look at that. They're all on the side of this building. Right there. That's so awesome. I mean, it's not awesome if somebody got hit. Here's some right here. But it's just neat that it's still here after so much time. There's a big one up here. Look at that one. What? See, so yeah, Nikki said that there's some people that won't cross the road. Here is the house right here. They do dining here. There's a tavern. It's really pretty. Wow. Man, this is so cool. Look at this. I lost Tiffany and Jen. Um, maybe they're back here. Cool. Spiral staircase. Love spiral staircases. Lincoln room. And Jenny Wade room. I thought you were this way. Okay. This is really creepy. This is a photo that was taken where we were just at in that basement area. And you can see that there's some people here that are on a tour. It's three little kids. Those kids right there were not on this tour. It looks like four. I, don't know. I think this one's, well, it's like, I don't know, maybe it could be. Yeah. That, there, there's no one there. That's pretty creepy. So this is Nikki right here. There's Audrey, she's pretty cool over there. <laughs> and if you want to do a really cool ghost tour, I'm gonna leave their information down below. Ask for Nikki, because she's the best. Look, Jen gave Girl. Oh, thank you. you better that. hope I don't try to drink it. This one might not give me high. <laughs> there are some that I actually oh, want to get work like a... and try to eat it. Oh, it smells so wow, good. Wow, that smells so awesome. Because uh, every time I drink wine now, I break out in hives. So if there's anybody in the comments that can let me know why, I need to know why because I like my wine. It might be the <laughs> sulfate. You might be allergic to sulfate. There's certain Maybe. sulfates. Like out of nowhere? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can totally develop out of nowhere. That is so wrong. It's like God's like... You Put the glass down. Just give you one. <laughs> He's like, no more today. Well, you didn't even drink. You drink like one glass every month or so. I know, but anytime I do now, I break. Maybe it's telling me to drink more Maybe. to build up my tolerance. My tolerance. I don't know if you want to do that. Here's some more information on the Farnsworth House Ghost Tours. Here's the website right here and the phone number. In case you want to spend the night too, I would definitely do the whole experience. This is legit like a paranormal vacation. You just come here, spend the night, do ghost tours. You can eat food. There's a camp out back. What's that camp out back? Camp Farnsworth. Camp Farnsworth. Yeah, it's check out the website. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.